Welcome to Unselfishly Me, a podcast all about self-love, self-care and everything in between. I'm Jane, a personal trainer with a focus on self-love. Each week we'll be chatting to someone about their self-love journey, how long it took and what it took to get there. Today we are doing another PowerCast, which is a very mini episode of the podcast, and it's just a little bite-sized information, 10 minutes hopefully, <laughs> if I can keep it to that, just little bits of information that I think you'll find interesting. Last time we did Boundaries, which is one of the workshops I do on Zoom Live on a self, Self-Love self Sunday, and today we are doing Journaling 101, which is another topic that I have covered and I will be repeating again. A lot of people are interested in journaling or they've heard about journaling or they don't think it's for them because they think it's, you know, only for people who maybe have problems in their life and they want to journal their feelings. But it really is for everyone and it can help you just get into a really good routine every day. It can help you heal from past things that have been bothering you, things that are going on in your life right now, questioning yourself. So it really is for everyone. So what is journaling? So journaling is basically asking yourself questions to find out what you're really thinking and feeling. Uh, we tend to not want to like go there in our mind. So like, you know, something will come up and an emotion will come up or a thought or a feeling. And then we kind of just like brush it off and like shake your head and shake it out of your head. I don't know if anyone else does that. <laughs> shake it out of your head like it doesn't exist. It's gone now. <laughs> Um, But the problem with that is that the more you like push it down and shake your head um, and kind of get rid of it, the more you think it doesn't exist, except it does. And it like weighs down on your subconscious and just builds up, builds up, builds up until, you know, you haven't dealt with it. So one day it's like kaboom. I also found that seeing something written down also makes it more real. Like suddenly when it's on paper, you have to be honest with ourselves and write how we feel and it's no longer in our subconscious, but you bring it up to the surface. So I found like if you're just thinking about something, putting it off, putting it off, putting off, it's just like in your head and it doesn't feel real. It just feels like, oh, it's just a passing thought. It's like not bothering me. But when you actually write how you feel, you find that you tend to ramble in the best way possible. You kind of ramble on more and more and more and this more you ramble and the more your hand just kind of goes with the flow and just writes the more that comes to the surface and things that you don't even think were actually bothering you tend to come up and you're like oh I actually thought I'd forgiven that person or oh I didn't think that was such a big deal and if you are journaling for healing purposes and to maybe get over something or to learn something then you have to be real with your answers so that you can heal what needs to be healed you know you can't just kind of write as if someone might read it that's another thing is someone had asked like what if we need to write about our partner but we're like worried that they are going to read it um and a they shouldn't be going through your stuff um b you can always do it on your phone and an app there are plenty of apps that kind of lock and need a password to go into if that's what you're worried about and also like keep it at work or keep it in a bag or keep it somewhere where you know they're not going to look like you don't want to be, you don't want to be secretive, but also a journal is a personal thing and it is about mind dumping. So like dumping whatever's on your mind and you are venting in the form of a book instead of venting to other people. So they also need to respect your privacy and to respect that this is your personal space and these are your, your personal things. Also, you could also use code names and code words um, to write about it uh, if that is something that worries you. Um, So that's the advice that I had given her. So when you're wanting to heal and to let go of things, um, writing it out really does help with letting go. It helps you let go of the thought, the feeling, the actions, anything that's bothering you. So remember when we were kids and we did the whole Dear Diary, I'm putting inverted commas there. (laughs) Well, this is kind of like the same journaling is basically the same as that. So you start by asking a question and then you write the answer. So it might be one question and one sentence even to start and then maybe you add two and maybe maybe in the next day you're doing three and you know you work up to a page and it takes time to get comfortable and to get into this rhythm of kind of dumping onto the page. So if you are someone who is not used to writing and you don't know where to start, just start (laughs) so right at the top of a page how am I feeling and then just write your answer so if it's a sentence that's fine the next day maybe you'll do two three four 
Or maybe straight away you just start flowing and it's this A5 page or two or an A4 or whatever. Maybe you just start unraveling and that is amazing. If you can just go with the flow and don't judge yourself, don't put pressure on yourself, just go with the flow and see what happens. A nice way to also do it is to set a timer for five minutes and that becomes your five minutes a day habit and you just keep going and you just go for five minutes, whatever, even if you have to doodle, um, draw little pictures while you're thinking of things, that's okay too. And as you wake up is a great time to do it, so you can kind of almost download whatever you've been thinking about, dreaming about subconsciously the whole night or before bed just to offload how you felt about the day, those are nice questions as well, like what was good about today, Um, what could I have changed today, what didn't I enjoy today, Um, anything that happened today that I would like to change or talk about, just little questions like that. You're basically, you're talking to yourself and checking in with yourself as if you're talking to your bestie, so that can be your guideline. I mean, if you can make it a nightly ritual before you go to bed or in the morning, I like to tell the girls that if you make tea in the morning, you have to wait for it to brew anyway. So you might as well boil the kettle, pour it in, sit down with your journal or a meditation, do your five minutes, done. Like make it a nice little ritual for yourself or make your tea in your breakfast, go and sit somewhere quietly and while you're having your tea, maybe you doing your journaling as well. It could also be that you are watching the sunset or watching the sunrise with your coffee or in bed with some essential oils and a burner and like a little meditation, like if that's at night. Like it's nice to make a ritual with this because it is something special. You are putting time into yourself. It shouldn't be seen as a chore. It's you spending time with yourself, asking yourself how you're feeling Um, And yeah, just giving yourself five minutes of precious, precious time to check in with yourself. So create a time that feels special for you. Um, So again, don't put too much pressure on it, but maybe you can make it into like a little ritual. If you're into crystals and that kind of stuff, maybe go and pick one that you think is what you're feeling or needing right now. Grab that and while you're writing, hold that in your other hand and just see what comes up as well. If you have affirmation cards, it's also nice to pick one of those um, and see whatever comes up with that. Use that as your journal topic. Um, It's a nice way to do it as well. Um, Actually, this whole thing has prompted me to create um, affirmation cards. So I've got a set that's being made right now. And then I'm also going to do journal cards, which will have little questions on them and you can just pick a journal card and then I'm also going to be doing self-care cards so you can either buy separately and pick one or you can mix the deck the decks all together and then pick from there so that's going to be a nice way of kind of bringing this into your everyday life by picking a card if you're into like picking cards and doing that and then I've decided to do a guided journal as well because I think this is something that we struggle with we struggle to get in a habit with it um, it's nice to have something that's ours that's kind of like a picture book and a memory book of the year that we've had so busy working on that right now in my limited time so that'll be have journal prompts um, and just activities and things as well so you can either choose journal cards or journal um, with the journal prompts in the book this episode is brought to you by us and selfishly me we have created an amazing legacy book it is my heart and soul that went into creating this book basically it was all the questions i wish i'd asked my grand before she died i wish i had this book filled with memories and all about her personality and her life growing up as a child there are over 70 pages full of questions and some spaces to put photos and it is suitable for anyone in your life. I've made it quite generic in that you can give it to your brother, your sister, your child, your mom, your dad, your best friend. Um, you can give it to a friend to give to their partner or whoever. Then basically it's all questions that you would love to ask them and things that you probably wouldn't think to ask them. Like what was your childhood like? Do you remember your teachers? What stood out about them? What is your dream car? What is on your bucket list? Uh, Your favorite food, your favorite color, 
what laugh advice would you give me? What business advice would you give me? What laugh advice and love advice? And it just goes on and on. The questions are endless. They really are fun for the person to fill in. They're fun for you to read. And I think it's important that us, as people, as parents, as friends, as children, we fill in our legacy and gift it to those that mean the most to us as well. Especially in these times, we don't know what's going to happen. No one is immune from this disease and this virus and if you can gift a book to someone filled with all your memories and those things that really mean a lot to you then it's really special for them to keep and to read as well. A lot of friends have been gifting them to their parents right now to fill in during lockdown and it's just a great way of having those memories and just in case you know we don't like the what if situation but this is a really nice way of being able to treasure those memories, those thoughts and those feelings as well. So if it's something that you'd be interested in, you can head to www.unselfishlyme.com and head to the shop section and it's called the Legacy Book. So here's some ideas for you um, that I gave some of the girls. You can do questions like how am I feeling and then whatever you answer for that then just ask another question on top of that. So if you say, how am I feeling? I'm feeling a little bit sad because um, work is a bit stressful and something happened at work. What happened at work that made me feel this way? Da, 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 da. How could I have changed that? Things like, what is going right in my life right now? What can I be grateful for? What has being in lockdown taught me? What could I change about the last three months? What has been the most surprising lesson about other people in my life during lockdown? You know, just little questions like that. You could literally ask yourself anything and write it down. There are literally no rules. Um, Whatever comes to mind. It's also nice to do maybe a five-minute guided meditation from an app. I love Insight Timer. And then as soon as you come out of it, maybe grab a pen and just go for five minutes or write like an A5 page, whatever you, you feel, whatever thoughts come up just journal about that as well so some check-in questions I like to ask are how am I feeling what's not working what do I need what am I proud of and what can I let go of so those are just a few questions that you could actually ask every day if you wanted to or maybe make that your weekly check-in and every other day you just write a page Um, some people write morning pages so it's literally just you wake up and you write two A5 pages, whatever comes up, whatever you're feeling, or maybe one or half a page, whatever you really want to do. Just don't put pressure on yourself. Think about how you feel. Think about what you want. You can write about your goals, your intentions, the rest of the year, how you're feeling today, how you were feeling last month, how you're feeling last year, what you think you want to do next year. Like, Just get into the habit of writing for five minutes a day for yourself and you'll actually see how things change. It's also nice to go back if you want to, um, go back and see if there's anything that you're feeling in certain times of the month. Um, It just also brings everything together and shows you how you're feeling. But if you'd like to go into this in depth, then definitely join our next Journaling 101 Um, a self-love Sunday Um, just watch our social media for that and you can book directly through me and you can just email that through and it's 140 rand for an hour session and we do all of this we do a meditation so do an opening meditation closing meditation and pick a card for you to journal on after the session and we go through some questions on journaling and do it in the session as well so I hope you guys found this informative. I hope it wasn't too long. And I hope that you'll get going on this amazing adventure that you can have with yourself. As always, thank you so much for the support and thank you so much for listening. I'd obviously love to reach a lot more women. So if you could, I'd love if you could screenshot this episode on your phone and upload it to your Instagram stories and tag us at Unselfishly Me and GI Jane Fit. I'd love to reach more people and you have those people on your timeline so I'd love to share the love and you never know someone might need this episode and you might change their life thank you for the support I'll see you next week
Thanks for listening to Unselfishly Me. Follow us on Instagram at unselfishlyme and check out our website www.unselfishlyme.com.